All right, so now I set up my Barbie Princess Adventure dolls that I still have in box. So I have Nikki, and then next to her is Renee, and then I have the three pack with Daisy, Barbie, and Nikki, and then I have Teresa over here on the end. Then I have these three packs, uh, fashion packs in the middle to try on. So let's get started and get everyone opened. So I think we'll open Nikki first, and I'm not 100% sure that's her actual name, but that's what we're calling her today. And here's a look at the back of the box. It just has all the characters. I also, I did not purchase Ken because he was just too generic. I didn't really think there was anything special about him. So let's get her open first. This will be the second Renee. I mean, Teresa. I mean, oh my God, Nikki. Nikki comes with three accessories. She comes with this purse, which is like a quilted fabric. I mean, it's plastic, but the detail is really nice. She also comes with a little cell phone. The sticker is kind of stuck on there, kind of funny though, not the best, but you get the idea. And lastly, she comes with this really cute pink hot drink mug, which is really nicely detailed, I think. And here's the beautiful Nikki. She has her hair tied up in this bun, and then she has a little silver princess tiara on. She's wearing a really cute outfit, I thought. I mainly liked these a lot for their outfits. I thought they were really cute. I love the pastel colors. So here's a look at her outfit and her skirt. And it looks like it is two pieces, so that's awesome. And this is two pieces of fabric. And then she's wearing cute little pink sneakers with some beautiful molded on details. They look like they would be ASICs. And she has a silver bracelet that matches her tiara. And here's a closer look at her beautiful face. All right, next we have Renee. And I believe she's a tall Barbie or she's on a tall body. And here's just a look at her box. Her artwork's really cute. And then the back is the same. And here's a look at Renee's purse, which is very cute. Mini purse. And she comes with a pink cell phone. Uh, she comes with this little pink, I guess it's a pink necklace. It wasn't on her. It was attached with the accessories. So I'm not totally sure, but I think that's what it is. And then her little hot drink mug is purple. So, okay. Here's my thoughts on Renee. Renee was the hardest one for me to find. Um, I only saw this one in Target and I, they never put more of her out. So I ended up finally getting her after a couple trips and um, I just wasn't too thrilled with her eyes. As you can see, this face mold is really susceptible to wonky eyes and her, her eyes just aren't placed very well. So even though I wish I could love her, I'm probably going to donate her and keep the clothes and just use a different doll for the character if I want. So I believe she's tall, let me just see. Yep, she's on a tall body. So that's fun that they gave them some uh, different body types and heights, which is great. And I can already tell Teresa behind them is on a petite body. So here she is. Her skin tone's very light. Her hair is actually really nice. Um, of course, it needs some help just because it was in the box, but it's really soft and lush. It's a kind of a medium brown with brown eyes and pink lips. Oh, I'm sorry. You can't even see her. So she's wearing a pink crown with a little bow on it. And then here's a closer look at her cute little shirt that says Dream on it. And then her sparkly skirt that's two layers. And again, her outfit is two pieces as well. Her sneakers are teal and they're really cute. And they match her purse. So yeah, she's, even though the doll has a little bit of wonky eye, she, I think she's really nice regardless. All right, so next we're going to open up Teresa. And here's a look at her. I thought she was adorable. She's probably my favorite of the three. 
um, and I really liked her outfit. Okay, here's a look at Charisse's little bag. It's silver, tiny, with details on the front and back. And then same style phone, but hers is purple. Her necklace is super cute. It's beaded and it says love on it. And then her mug is teal. Here's Teresa out of the box. She has that uh, Teresa face mold, I guess, or maybe they call it Bambi, the Bambi face mold, the newer Teresa version. But she has um, just such a cute outfit. I love the pink and purple pastel colors. So her shirt is ruffled with a pink and white stripe, and then her skirt is two piece again, or two layers with the tool and sparkles on top and this layer on the bottom and they are two separate pieces she's wearing a gold crown on top of her head and her eyes are green her hair is pretty it'll be pretty once it's boil washed too i think but it's not horrible and then she is wearing these like platformy wedge type of sneakers And like I mentioned before, she is on the petite body. So here's the difference between the tall and the petite and the regular. So she's actually quite a bit shorter than the other two, which is cute. All right, I think we'll do the fashion packs next. Here's a quick look at the first one. And next we have this pack. And lastly, we have this pack. Okay, for the first pack, it comes with these sunglasses. I feel like we've seen these before in other fashionista packs and stuff. And then another cell phone, this one's white. She, each of those three packs comes with a different pet. This one is a pig with a little tutu on it. little tail and here's Renee in this outfit don't mind the double tiara th thing I still need to take pictures of them in their regular outfits so I didn't want to detach the tiara yet but anyway it comes with this blue tiara with stars on it which is cute and then I really like this shirt it's really cute it says awesome on it she has this pink purse and then she has this shimmery, beautiful, I don't even know what you would call this color. It's some kind of blue, but it's a really, really pretty blue color. And then she's wearing these pink boots. That have roses sculpted on them. I'm just like, I cannot get over how good the shoes have been lately. Like they're really detailed. I mean, they may be all one color, but I don't mind that. I just think the sculpting is really nice. So here's outfit number one on Renee. Next for outfit number two, we put it on Teresa and this is the sleepover set. And I put it on Teresa because now she can join their sleepover. But anyway, this um, nightgown is really cute. It's pink with white polka dots, Velcro's in the back. And then she comes with these two pairs of bunny slippers and I didn't put the didn't keep them on her because they're a little bit too big for her feet because she's petite but here's a closer look at the detail on the bunny slipper if you guys can see that I'm so sorry again about the lighting I'm just using one little ring light it's late at night it's the only time I have to film so anyway there's one slipper and then she comes with a little thing of popcorn buttery popcorn her pet is a pet rabbit sculpted all the way around she also comes with this pillow her tiara is light blue and she comes with this super shiny sleep mask 
So that is outfit number two. And then our third outfit is on Nikki, but I'll just show you uh, the pet that comes with this one is a dog, Corgi maybe. And then another coffee cup. And then here's Nick. Whoops, here's Nikki dressed in her outfit. So she has a pink tiara. Um, I didn't know if these were supposed to be necklaces or bracelets, but they looked a little better on her neck, so I put them there. But there are these two purple studded necklaces, and then this shimmery tri-colored coat with purple, pink, and green, which Velcros, Velcros in the front. And then she's wearing this beautiful teal sparkly skirt with sparkly silver stars. Her shoes look weird because I think they're supposed to be on non-flat feet, but they're pink heels, pink strappy heels. And then her purse is purple quilted pattern. And that is outfit number three. Okay, so finally we're going to get this pack in the back open and take a look at what this little sleepover set comes with. So I know you guys have been looking at this the whole review, but here's a look at what the box looks like. And I got this set at Target a while ago when they had it. All right, guys, so this pack comes with three sleeping bags. Here's the first one, and it's just basically two pieces of fabric sewn together. You can put the doll inside. And you can even fold down this top part because that's the sides aren't stitched on that. So there's one. Here's the second one. And here's the third one. So pink, purple, and blue. This would be a really easy craft to do too to make your own sleeping bags. And then we also have three pillows. So it comes with a pink pillow. These are hollow on the back, which is kind of a bummer. And they're hard plastic. So there's pink, teal, and purple. And then as far as the little accessories, we get three sleeping masks in pink, purple, and teal. We get three things of popcorn in pink, purple, and teal. And here's a closer look at the purple one. So it does have some textured edges and there's the top. We get three of these cups. They're all the same. So there's three little tea cups here. These are very cute. And we get a cake, vanilla cake with strawberries on top. And this is hollow on the bottom. And you can put everything on this adorable little pink tray. Very cute. And then, of course, we have our laptop. All right, so here's a look at Nikki. She has her hair up in a high bun. They're still doing the tiaras. <laughs> so she has a purple tiara and this very cute nightgown that says Sweet Dreams on it. This Velcro's in the back. And then she is wearing pink slippers. Let's see if you guys can see the detail on this. So they're made to look like they were crocheted or knitted and it's so cute. Oh my goodness. I love, love, love it. Great details. So this is my third Nikki in these princess, princess adventures and dream house adventures. I'm definitely going to be downsizing just to one though, probably. Um, so I'll take a look later to pick which is my favorite. And then here is Barbie. Same with Barbie. I mean, if her face isn't perfect, she's probably going to be donated, but I love the clothes. So we'll keep the clothes. So her um, outfit consists of this light blue tiara. Take a closer look at that. So a lot of detail in there. Um, her face is the typical Millie mold. Pink lips long blonde hair. Her teacher is a little cat with a crown and it 
Velcro's in the back, and this is two separate pieces, yay! And her pajamas are pink shorts with sparkly silver hearts. Here's a look at her slippers, which are teal with a little bow on the top. And then our third doll is another Daisy doll. So this one, oops, I forgot to, hold on. I forgot to cut the rubber band out of her hair. Okay, there, that's better. So she looks pretty much exactly like the other Daisy doll that I showed you earlier. She has a silver tiara, and then her nightgown is really cute. It has this little good night thing on it, which reminds me of like the neon lights you can buy at Target. And this little fringy tool with silver stars on the bottom. And it Velcros in the back. She's again on a curvy body. And then here's a look at her slippers. So her sl slippers are a little more plain, but I mean, look at that little detail, the little stitching. It's really cute. So yeah, here's everybody set up with their accessories and I'm really happy with this pack. I think it's really adorable and I absolutely love the color scheme they went with. Um, the pinks and the purples and the teals. I just really love pastel colors in general. So I'm really loving that. And then I think the accessories are really cute. The dolls themselves are really nice. Of course, they only have the five points for articulation, but you know, same as a fashionista, you can always change them over to different bodies if you want. And yeah, I'm really happy with them. I know that my daughter is really gonna have a great time playing with these. So I'm just gonna get the rest of the princess dolls together and do one last shot. So I hope you guys enjoyed my review of both the Barbie Princess Adventures and the Barbie Dreamhouse Adventures dolls that I had in my collection. Um, I'm really excited to have opened these dolls and I have many more dolls to open on the channel. Um, again, if you have any requests, please let me know. I have a ton of Disney uh, dolls, which I'm probably going to get started on as well. So we'll go from there. But thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope you have a great day.